Have you ever seen a newt? Ted caught one in the pond near his home and brought it to class. No one in the class seemed to know very much about newts. Miss Clark thought it would help everyone in the class if Ted would write a report on how newts live while they kept the newt in the class aquarium. Ted didn't know very much about newts, but he knew something about writing a report. The class had been studying report writing only a week ago. Everyone had learned the four steps for writing a good report. Choose a subject. Gather information. Organize the information. And write the report. The first step is choosing a subject. Ted already had his subject. He was going to write about the newt. Writing about all animals that live in water would be too much information for anyone to include in one report. But the newt was not too big a subject. After choosing a subject, the next step is to gather information. In the afternoon, during the class study period, Ted began gathering information for his report. First, he looked at the encyclopedias. Ted selected the volume labeled N to O. Starting with the encyclopedia is a good way to begin gathering information. Ted soon found the article on the newt. From the picture, Ted learned that the newt he had caught was called a red-spotted newt. As Ted read the article, he knew that he wouldn't be able to remember all the facts he learned. He didn't want to copy all the information from the encyclopedia. So, as you've probably done, Ted took notes on what he read. At the top of his note card, Ted wrote the name of the encyclopedia and underlined it. Then he wrote the volume and page number his information came from. On his note card, Ted also wrote certain phrases such as related to salamanders and other short phrases to remind him of the important facts he had read. Now Ted had some idea of what he would put in his report. But the encyclopedia is only one source of information. It's always helpful to look for information in other books too. After school, Ted went to the library, where he knew he could find information on almost any subject. First, Ted looked in the card catalog. He knew that all the books in the library were listed here. Since the cards are in alphabetical order, Ted looked under N for his subject, Newt. The card for Newt said, See Salamander. He had already learned from the encyclopedia that newts are a kind of salamander, so he looked under S. Under the subject heading Salamander, Ted found books that might contain information on newts. In the upper left-hand corner, the call number on each card told Ted where to look on the shelf. Ted found several books he thought he could use. As Ted looked in each book, he checked the table of contents. Here the chapter headings listed the main topics in the book. At the back of the book, he looked in the index to locate his particular subject. Newts were on pages 40 and 41. Ted made notes of the important facts he found in each book. At the top of each note card, Ted wrote the name of the author. He underlined the title of the book and then wrote the page his information came from. 
Ted included many facts in his notes. He decided to copy one interesting fact exactly as it was written. Of course, he used quotation marks. After making his notes for the report, Ted thought of something. He remembered that when he wrote a report about the post office, he had talked to Mr. Moran, the postmaster, who was very helpful. Ted decided to talk to someone who would know about newts. So he went to see Mr. Kane, the director of the museum near the forest preserve where he had found the newt. Ted asked Mr. Kane if it were true that newts leave the water to live on land for a while. Mr. Kane said he could answer this by showing Ted something in the museum. It was a terrarium. In it were newts that had left the water and were living on land. Mr. Kane pointed out that on land, these newts changed to a reddish color, not like the one that Ted had caught in the pond. Mr. Kane told Ted several things about newts that he had not found in his books. And Ted took careful notes. That night, Ted looked over all the information he had collected. The next step in writing a report is to organize the information into an outline. Ted's main topics were a common animal, born in water, its life on land, returns to water, good aquarium pets. Under each main topic, Ted wrote subtopics. In each subtopic, Ted included facts about the main topic. He checked his notes to be sure he put all his facts down accurately. Some of his facts did not fit into the outline, and he didn't use these for his report. When Ted had finished his outline, he checked it to see that the facts he had listed under each main topic belonged to that topic. Later that evening, Ted was ready for the last step, to write the report. As he wrote his report, he followed the outline closely so his facts would all be in proper order. He used a topic sentence for each paragraph. Near the end, Ted put in the quotation from his notes. He also made a footnote showing from which book the quotation had come. When he had finished, Ted checked his report to see if he had made any mistakes in spelling, grammar, and punctuation. Then he was ready to hand in his report. The next morning, Ted brought his report to Miss Clark and she asked him to read it to the class. Ted felt sure of himself because he knew his material thoroughly. And he felt sure that the class understood his report because it was well organized. And Miss Clark was pleased because his report followed his outline point by point. Organizing the information into a good outline is one of the most important steps in writing a report. Do you remember the four steps Ted used in writing his report? These four steps can help you too when you write your next report. <laughs>